Hi everyone, this is Yashpal here and today I am going to discuss, let's discuss part 11 The paths to glory lead but to the grave There is a, an astonishing disposition in human mind to seek pleasure from varied sources even from pain and melancholy if it weren't so if if it were not so the gothic genre of literature horror and bloody movies lamenting lyrics and grievous ballads would not have been so popular we receive comfort in gloomy tale acceptance in sad sonnets and calm pleasure from elegies which raise our melancholy for no matter how pompous, pompous our life might be. There is always some room, there is always some room for bitter truth of pain and sorrow. 18th century English poet classical scholar and professor at Cambridge University Thomas Gray wrote this mournful poem titled Elegy written in a country graveyard in a country church burial ground the boast of heraldry the boast of heraldry the pomp of power and all that beauty all that wealth we ever gave gave awaits alike the inevitable honor the boast of heraldry the pomp of power and all that beauty all that wealth we ever gave awaits alike the inevitable hour the paths of glory lead but to the grave such a quatrains are a continuous reminder of mortality of human life and inevitability of death irrespective of social position beauty wealth or any glory it was the same burial site where grave was later buried of all the truth death is the most universal whose realization is assured beyond any doubt and without any exception. One thing that man has consistently failed at is in achieving physical immortality. No alchemy, sacrifice, yoga and no enlightenment or nirvana could materialize into an everlasting enduring life. One who has been born shall die so shall one who will be born. Entire life people torment themselves for money, material, love, family, health, glory, etc. But all the varieties of trouble a life might encounter with all its preoccupations and find their submergence in death. Death is an inevitable phenomena associated with life. Since the moment worldly existence of life form is realized, Greek hero of Trojan War, the central character and greatest warrior of Homer's Iliad, Achilles was tried to be made immortal by his mother, the Thetis, herself a she nymph he was dipped into the holy water by her mother to attain immortality however he was killed at the end of the trojan war within the city of troy by an arrow which struck him in the heel it was discovered that he was left vulnerable at the part of the body which she held him while dipping into the water which remained dry 
after his death all his bravery all the swiftness of his word and all his insurmountable strength reduces to a phrase of grammar called achilles heel which means a weakness or vulnerable point indeed death is the ultimate truth there is nothing that can stop one from realization of this truth nevertheless fear associated with death might be optional the fact is death seems scary not because death is scary but because life many a times gets scary the fear of death follows from the from that of life one who is prepared to die any time is the one who lives the life fully it is in such achieve it is in such achievement of fearlessness for life that glory supports and nurtures itself the durability of life is often associated with the intensity of glory achieved maria coro corazan aquino was a self proclaimed plain housewife till she decided to run for president in the philippines after her husband was assassinated she was the most prominent figure of the 1986 people power resolution and she was the most prominent figure of the 1986 people power revolution and was named time magazine's woman of the year the same year she toppled 20 year authoritarian rule of president ferdinand e macros marcos restored democracy to the philippines and served as the 11th president prior to this she had not held any other elective office she would say i would rather die a meaningful death than to live a meaningful life sacrosanct and inviolable as she might appear but she died of colon cancer in the year of 2009 that doesn't demand a submission of wing but it ensures the same before wing social man was only an animal concept of society tamed him for the sustainable needs of interdependence path to glory resonates with such valence of needs and sustenance still a wish always resides within this wish tears and sharpens its claws and attacks vigorous bigler vigorously when drunk with power and pride followed by imbalance of conscience glory is not an unproblematic select to deal with these oriana falasi an it- italian author journalist and ardent interviewer having keenly observed her political interviews said glory is a heaven burden glory is a heavy burden a murdering poison to bear it is an art and to have that art is rare one can plan for a safer life by keeping away from any glory for more glorious the path closer is to dying nevertheless there is no safe box which couldn't be torn apart by the claws of death death is like the deep dense woods death is like the deep dense woods whose immensity cannot be fathomed from ground because the vision is blocked by the first few rows of trees itself it is life that categorizes death on the other hand classifies them all death is the union of all life forms papers struggle on daily basis throw out their life to make it to the end of the day their life might not mean much to the society as much as they are said to have died like flies on the other hand upper class has their brute burial site booked crypt and engraved or funeral sumptuously sumptuously occasioned eventually rich men don't live enough to witness them all no matter what we do achieve or feel and how differently we do them 
death unifies all classes of people in fact poor people might have lived like flies but they all died as good as any riches a conch a couch of thorns are an embroidered bed or matters of indifference to the dead death is like that a volume of calm water where all the deeds die where all the deeds die out like a ripple german author and playwright wolfgang borchert borchert whose work was affected by the environment of second world war writes in his play the outsider a man dies only a few circles in the water prove that he was ever there and even they quickly disappear and when they are gone he is forgotten without a trace as if he had never been never existed and that's all we all need some of the other motivation to sail through the struggles of life such for food is the motivated is motivated by the inherent characteristics of hunger of human body it is the acceptance in society showing of praise recognition or wing and weed by following that drives one to the path of glory mark marcus tullius cicero marcus tullius cicero a roman statesman lawyer scholar and writer who Bentley tried to uphold the republican principle in the final civil war that destroyed the roman republic puts up his thoughts which came to be known as cicerian theoretic we are motivated by a keen desire for praise and the better a man is the more he is inspired by glory the very philosophers themselves even in those books which they write in concept of glory the the very philosopher the very philosophers themselves even in those books which they write in contempt of glory inscribe their names when it comes to survival death is ultimate motivation it helps men discover unknown boundaries untraversed locations and unfathomable will the philosophy of vicious cycle of rebirth karma and nirvana basically stream lines for stream lines human being for peaceful coexistence to absorb violence to be accommodative and to comfort sympathize comfort sympathize and distract mind from lamenting nature of death even though buddhist teachings profess the professes the cycle of rebirth according to a jataka prayer parable when a grieving lady visited buddha with the corpse of his son to rukas bring back the life buddha asked her to bring a handful of cereal from a family in which nobody had died before tired of her effort when lady returned to buddha bewailing she summed up the lesson that that is certain is time is not ailing steve jobs having known of his march wing closer to death try to describe honestly his perception of death as no one wants to die even people who wants to be wants go to heaven bound don't want to die to get there and yet death is the destination we all share no one has ever escaped it and that it and that is as it should be because death is very likely the single best invention of life it is life's change agent it clear clears out the old to make way for the new dying is a continuous process which starts as soon as one is born in the softer softer terms we call it aging death is the ultimate result of this ongoing process in fact the vanity of life is in death death health death health remains prized profession because of the cruelty of sickness and life remains so because of unbranded death a thought that makes life the livest liveliest is idea of 
memento mori which means remember that you must die with this i am signing off keep listening keep growing always stay motivated thank you have a nice day